Brittany Murphy won the hearts and minds of movie lovers with her performances in such late 90s and early aughts classics as Clueless, 8 Mile, and Girl Interrupted. But Murphy suddenly died in 2009, and her death is still a mystery. According to Los Angeles County Assistant Chief Coroner Ed Winner, Murphy's death could have been prevented if she just sought medical attention when she first started feeling sick. According to E! News, both Murphy and her husband Simon Monjack contracted a virus while she was still a part of the horror flick The Caller, filming in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Winner claimed that she had been sick for at least two weeks. Monjack had reportedly convinced her that too many trips to the doctor could draw unwanted attention, and add credence to industry gossip that Murphy was a quote, difficult actress. The night before her death, Murphy allegedly approached both Monjack and her mother Sharon, who lived with the couple, complaining of weakness and shortness of breath, but by the next morning it was too late. Murphy's mother Sharon eventually became convinced that both her daughter and Simon died not of pneumonia, as the coroner's report suggested, but of illness caused by toxic mold in their home, a sprawling 8,000-square-foot mansion in the Hollywood Hills that Murphy purchased from Britney Spears in 2003 after Spears broke up with Justin Timberlake. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Sharon began to take seriously the possible role of mold in Murphy and Monjack's deaths in 2011 when she first began trying to sell the home. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office repeatedly ruled out toxic mold as a factor in the the deaths of Murphy and Monjack, but the fact remains that the home had enough mold in it to prompt a $600,000 settlement won by Sharon, and that the two people who spent the most time there also died right there in the house, within five months of each other. Rumors of drug use plagued Murphy for the bulk of her acting career, and toward the end of her life, a number of friends and casual observers thought she might be suffering from anorexia as well, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Murphy, who was 5 foot 2 inches, was always on the small side, and she was, in fact, self-conscious about her petite shape, according to those who knew her. Murphy, whose face and figure struck some as alarmingly gaunt in her later appearances, always denied that she had an eating disorder, insisting that she was happy and healthy and living her best life. She even credited ballet with giving her limbs their thin, toned look, according to HuffPost. Still, some others said it was clear that Murphy skimped on food in favor of coffee and prescription drugs. This may be as crazy as it sounds, but Murphy's father, Angelo Bertolotti, was convinced that his daughter and Monjack might have been targeted by the Department of Homeland Security. Murphy was estranged from her father, who died at 92 in 2018, for much of her adult life. After she died, though, Bertolotti was suddenly all over the news, speculating that his daughter and son-in-law might have been poisoned by government agents. The fact is that she was poisoned and she was murdered, as far as I'm concerned. Bertolotti went so far as to have a toxicology test done on Murphy's hair. The results were mixed, but one showed the presence of at least 10 different heavy metals, suggesting that perhaps Murphy had ingested rat poison. However, the metals might also have a much more benign explanation. Murphy often dyed her hair, according to E! News. Britney's mother strongly disputed basically all of this. Another explanation for Murphy's death could be that the many medications she took were tainted with extraneous chemicals, according to Page Six. We didn't find any uh, illicit or illegal drugs. Uh, we did recover some of her medication. The theory gains credence only because Monjack was a notorious doctor shopper. According to Yahoo, he used aliases to obtain more and more prescriptions to treat what many considered to be his imaginary illnesses. So Murphy might have, in effect, been killed by her husband's bad habits. Another possibility, though, put forth by forensic pathologist Dr. Michael Bodden, is that the samples of Murphy's hair used in the tests were themselves contaminated by something as harmless as time and packaging. He told Page Six, If the hair was taken at the time of the autopsy and then kept at the coroner's office for four years, finding the heavy metals can all be an artifact from the container in which it was kept. The results are interesting but do not demonstrate criminality or cause of death.